Thank you. I wanted to follow up on your judicial nominee for the trial court in Mississippi. Senator Hyde Smith had said she wouldn't support the nominee. Um, I know you're sticking with um, your nominee. What do you hope to see Senator Durbin do next? So, um, look, when you think uh, about our nominee, uh, it's a chosen, a, uh, Biden was very proud to choose someone who is uh, uh, deeply qualified. Uh, dedicated to our Constitution and who received the backing of Republicans and Democrats uh, in Mississippi. Uh, and uh, he is a duly elected district attorney, is clearly trusted by many of us, uh, many of Senator Hyde uh, Smith's constituents and keep, to keep them safe and ensure that justice is done. So it is unfortunate, uh, sadly, that uh, regardless of being duly consulted, consulted well in advance, and despite Senator Wicker returning a blue slip, uh, Senator Hyde Smith is preventing the people of Mississippi from having a judge in place in a timely fashion to uphold the rule of law uh, for her state. So, uh, you know, furthermore, Senator Hyde Smith never raised these issues before today over the course of months, including when she met with uh, Mr. Uh, Colum several, several weeks ago and never suggested any alternative candidates. And so, look, to your point, we're going to stick uh, with, our, with our, we think, our highly qualified candidate, and, uh, and I'll leave it there. You, or does the president still believe that um, blue, ships, blue slips excuse me, should be required for trial court nominees, or would you want the senator to move forward with this one? So look, I, I'll leave it to, uh, to Congress, uh, and I'll leave it to uh, the Senate to figure that piece out. But what I can say is we believe uh, uh, Scott is a thoroughly qualified candidate, uh, and, uh, and we're going to leave it there and continue to support his candidacy, his nomination. Thank you.